Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. And our guests are Bob Garrett and Melissa White of Yevo Foods. And during the break, we were talking about having food delivered to possible seniors at their Meals on Wheels or home delivered the, meals program. Yeah, with the senior center participating yes. in that. If uh, yes. you know, we know now that uh, they get one meal a day. That's it. And you know, you can only and it's hot and it's fresh. It was just made in the morning. But let's say they're just not that hungry. Let's say they want to just hold it back. And you know, I've gone over. I do house calls, so I go to their homes and I will open the refrigerator door and say, "There's their two day old uh, lunch or dinner that they got from the senior center." In this way, we could give them a packet of oatmeal for the next morning, and they can open that up at their leisure that the next morning or 10 mornings or three months from then to what be able to get their nutrition. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, you mm-hmm. know, that's another way other than speaking of Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, which we're giving them great commercial time right that's now, true. but it is, it's worthy well, for our, 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 them. Let's do Yevo International. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there. Um, our website's actually yevofood.org. Yabofood.org, and um, th- they would be if they had access, or if their um, um, their children could schedule this for them, direct ship straight to their home, mm-hmm. so they could you know set up um, monthly, weekly, whatever um, would be their preference to get a certain amount of packages delivered right to their front door. So mm-hmm. that way you can maintain if you were you know caring for your parents to make sure they're getting the meals if they need them. And I already know our seniors. I already know what. Let me taste it first. Absolutely. So you said at the summit there's going to be. Well, there's some going to be a tasting this Thursday at the summit. Thursday, but we also Thursday. want to mention we're, we're part of the golden years. I think yes. it'd be a good opportunity that's coming up. Uh, when is that, Melissa? It's uh, Saturday, uh, February 7th uh, from 11 to 5 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency here in Valencia. The golden yeah, years. That's we the health fair that. we were talking it's about. It's the senior it. health fair. Yes, yep, yep. it is. Great stuff. Okay. And we'll have our food there that they can actually taste at that time. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it'll be a good opportunity. And that's February 7th. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, love till 5 o'clock, though. Yeah, cause 11 I to 5. All. It's yeah, uh, presented uh, by UCL, UCLA Health. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a great yeah, turnout. Oh, uh, second I'm, annual event. Yeah, we, we know. I'll be at Never USC seen. on on Saturday <laughs> morning. Well, yes, you will. <laughs> so let's talk about... Um, Various areas in this community where food could be delivered. We have lots of senior apartments. Oh, absolutely. You know. We uh, we have senior apartments. We have assisted livings. We have boarding yeah. cares. Uh, and, you know, and I hate to say it sometimes. The you know everybody picks on hospital food, but then I think our hospital food is good. But mm-hmm. you know sometimes it just. They'd rather have something else. I mean, there well, there are ways, there are possible distributions for for food, especially dehydrated food, especially where the shelf life is so long. You know, I, I think there's this is impact to me mm-hmm. uh, on our community where we can be able to um, make sure that the long run our seniors get the appropriate nutrition. Because short run, I don't I don't think we're doing that good in society in general. Mm-hmm. But this could be easily a way to you know, maintain them and have packets so that they can, you know, and that's palatable, where they can put their their cinema in or their raisins <laughs> in to make it better for them. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. The main impact is that they're actually going to be getting meals where they'll get their all their 43 essential nutrients and then also help prevent other uh, diseases and uh, problems that they're currently having. Oh, they all, you know, they always, our seniors face a whole different life because, and we talked about it, as they get older, when their nutrition level diminishes, they become way more susceptible to illness, Mm -hmm. falls, uh, symptoms that, you know, might be subtle when you're younger, but all of a sudden you get a little dizzy and you go down and break your hip, it'll change your whole life. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, the nutrition is the basis for our seniors in every community. And, you know, to have that nutrition now out here in a way that they can attain it, you know, we have to start looking at how we can funnel that into Santa Clarita. It's interesting, and the senior center would be a fantastic way to do that. Even if you just offer um, maybe a donation of oatmeal, a packet of oatmeal to go on that home-delivered meal 
cart or We'd the like tray. We'd like to do that. Yes. Well, you know, that yeah. it's worth looking into. Yeah. How about a tasting really at is. the senior center? We, I, I was think thinking about the same thing. Yes. Yes. Think about that. Because yes. yes. uh, so. then we can be over there. Summit Thursday <laughs> yes. would be... I don't know, I mean, that would be a fantastic idea. So let's schedule it today before we leave. There you go. You're the scheduler. <laughs> That's <aren't> wonderful. <laughs> I, I'm the scheduler. <laughs> 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 and we'll make sure that we have the... Uh, the raisin cinnamon. Is that, that's right. Is that Barbara's favorite? Yes, yeah. that's my favorite. <laughs> you can throw some that's bananas in for me. <laughs> okay. <I'm with> bananas? <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. You'll take bananas, Rob. <laughs> well, I like raisins, too, you know. That, but, you know, it's got to be from Whole Foods or from Trader Joe's, though. You know, that's, no, that's the big from thing. now you know, on, it's going to be Yevo International Foods. Because, you know, you can take our raisins are already dried, but, you know, you can really take them and dry them more, I think, you know, and... I don't know. I don't think it ever loses its taste. Yeah, Rochelle Dardo is the uh, the director over there. She's okay. what is she? Executive, Executive director. Executive director at over there. Two five nine nine four four four. One of the things I wanted to mention too about our oatmeal is um, not only are you getting the forty three nutrients, but you're also getting twenty six grams of protein. In one package of oatmeal. 26, 26 grams? grams can, Good you, heavens. Yeah, your normal packet will contain 6 grams, so you're actually getting four times the amount of protein in this package. Okay. It's really packed. How much sugar is in it? Calories. Zero sugar. Zero sugar, yes. Um, calories, Mosa, um, um, I know there's a calorie count on there, but it's not in my head. But I know it was Yes, it was um, it's, a, it's about, um, I think, around 200. On that about meal. 200 per pack. Yeah. Oh, so. Well, it's the sugar that puts the fat on you. Yeah, right. It's the but weight on you. You know, you're, you're going to have to, as well, um, uh, contour uh, these meals to illnesses that our, senior, our seniors have like renal disease, congestive heart failure, hypertension, mm -hmm. things like that. Because, you know, the, in renal disease, you can't have, you cannot have too much protein. Right. Of course, in diabetes, you too much sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, and cardiac disease, too much salt. So if you can contact, uh, con contour it to these illnesses as well, that'll be a, a big hit too. Because, you know, our when we have home-delivered meals, we're not providing exact... Uh, meals for a diabetic or no, exact meals for a hypertensive true. and i i honestly think we can figure that part out of it uh adding or subtracting things from mm -hmm. uh, the elements that you're giving in your food i think so much salt is put into meals now to make them taste good oh absolutely and, and that is so bad and contributes to a lot of the problems you just mentioned yeah yeah it does okay. and we need to take another break don't we they come up too quick. <laughs> I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Welcome back to the Senior Hour. No. Yes. I'm Barbara Cochran. The Senior Minute, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. <laughs> <laughs> and we're speaking with Bob Garrett and Melissa White of Yevo Foods. And we wanted to talk about calorie counts. Yes. Uh, a little earlier when you were asking me about the amount of calories in the oatmeal, and we were talking about the high grams of uh, protein that we have, the 26 <coughs> grams of protein in the oatmeal. Um, we are not selling Yevo uh, meals as a weight loss, per se, uh, mm -hmm. food. But on average, when people eat foods from other places um, if they're not really watching every calorie and counting they'll end up eating close to about 3,000 calories per day because like you said the amount of sugars and sodium and everything in the foods um, if a person eats three meals three of our meals a day they're looking at taking in about uh, anywhere between 12 to 1400 calories a day so in essence, they will, well, some people will lose weight mm -hmm. or at least be able to sustain the weight that they're currently Melissa, at. can I add to that as well? Um, they say that there's a second brain in your stomach. I'm sure there's a lot of jokes that go along with that. But, <laughs> but uh, seriously, that your, your stomach is scanning the food that's coming through it and it's seeing what kind of nutrients it can gather from it. And it's telling your brain, okay, I'm full. So if you're getting all those nutrients in your stomach, you're not apt to grab that candy bar or whatever might be just handy hmm. because your brain's saying, hey, I'm content. 
So there's a lot of besides, you know, just the low calorie count, just the fact that you're getting the nutrients into your body. It's recognizing, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm full. I'm good. Yeah, but yeah, when I go and see a cake that's got this <laughs> chocolate icing on it and <laughs> that you know, brain layered, I go, you know, it overwhelms filling. that brain part of me. <laughs> and, you know, just got to grab it. But, uh, to add on to what he was saying, too, um, because of all the foods that w people are currently, majority of people are eating, there's so many additives in the foods mm -hmm. that when uh. you do digest it, like he said, the little scanner in the stomach, it doesn't know what to do with it so that's when it starts you know basically putting on the weight and putting oh, it into the fat, fatty areas and so forth whereas with our foods because it is the body is recognizing okay i'm getting this it needs to go here i'm getting this it needs to go there mm -hmm. that's what we were talking about you know to keep your um not only your health but also uh, but the a good weight for you the for it's not just weight though it's a contaminants that come with yep. what we're getting right now and that's right. kind of what is ultimately you know we could look at our weight but when you look at the you know the what we're bringing in that could ultimately cause alzheimer's that right. could cause a cancer that could cause kidney disease or diabetes you look at it and say wait a second maybe i just don't need to have that kind of food and i think the science of it is very limited because mm. to be honest with you i don't think i don't think we need a whole lot to sustain ourselves i mean when you go to the bathroom every day before you flush the toilet what's left in there is what your body has not used and your body has decided here this is going out and it goes out but you you know Didn't if you're compared to how much you brought in it really isn't that big of a difference so it's using what it needs and we have to figure out as human beings how much water do we need or liquid do we need how much of this nutrients do we need in terms of the the uh, uh, electrolytes and intended uh, in terms of all the um, nutrients that are that are in your products we have to figure that out we haven't done that yet and you know, it's we're, I think we're far away from that because we could probably sustain ourselves on several bites of a meal three times a day, and that's it. Right. We probably could do that, but we don't know the science yet for that. Right. Did you want to talk about? What um, I, I think it's important to know what we're what we're putting in our bodies. There's there's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And as we get older in our years, it becomes more of a concern, and a lot of people. Would rather just pick up that chocolate cake and mm -hmm. do that self-satisfaction that comes really quick and then we have to pay for it later mm -hmm. yeah. so if there's got to be a happy medium we want to be able to enjoy life we want to be able to have that cake and eat it too right <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> oh so, i've heard that before <laughs> so being able to combine meals you know rather than a strict diet okay you have to be on this liquid shake or you have to do this if mm -hmm. you're combining what you enjoy along with nutritious food i think that is the key mm -hmm. uh, absolutely right so for our seniors who are listening who might want to indulge a little bit tomorrow night at the summit You'll have a tasting there, and that's in the summit. Uh, the information's on our website at yevofood.org. Uh, what time will that be? Yes, if, if anyone is interested in finding out more information about Yevo Foods International, mm -hmm. they can find Bob and I on our website, mm -hmm. and it's yevofood.org. Uh, and then if they want to come to the February 7th event at the Hyatt, we'd um, like to see them. Yes, you know, you have all day to be able to get mind. there. and taste test as well and right. if we can convince the senior center to we'll have uh, it there as well to maybe yeah. have a tasting there um this this might be able to work uh, that would also. be a great idea but you know something i think you know i i've mentioned before on this show that i was a part of the gatorade study and gatorade is way out there right now but you know they have their public relations people but you know i do think that we're going to have the food sciences that will move ahead and give right. better understanding to individuals here in Santa Clarita. We do have a senior center. We don't want them to be used as guinea pigs, but we also know that you know what's going on right now is not good enough. And anything that you can do to help sustain our seniors in this community, especially nutrition-wise, would be to all of our advantage. Absolutely, and we'd yes, love to yeah. contribute that and donate some food towards the senior center to, yes. to, to make that happen. It was great having you guys on the yes. show because I think Thank it's a, a lot of good information. Very informative. Uh, Very but also, you know, we're 
uh, presenting some ideas that uh, our, we want our seniors to be aware of uh, and the community to be aware of to make sure that as we move forward in terms of nutrition that we're making our seniors healthier but mm -hmm. in the long run it makes us healthier too doesn't oh, it? Oh yes. Absolutely. Oh yes. Thanks you guys for being on the show today. Thank we you for having us. It. Thank you. Well what are you going to do this weekend Barb? Going to have uh, your, your oatmeal? No, 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 no. Your oatmeal yeah, well. with cinnamon and raisin? <laughs> no I may go to um, Arizona with Judy. All right. Well, bring your Yevo oatmeal. <laughs> you know, then you won't have to worry. Just find some hot water. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll do that. <laughs> great, great show today, Barb. Yes. We are sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care and Advanced Audiology. Listen to us next week on the Senior Hour. Now go and enhance your quality of life. Great.